Welcome back to Metro Exodus. In the last episode, we went to this huge warehouse where they were feeding the giant fish that they worshipped, and, well, I killed the fish and got this tram car thing all ready to go. So we need to drive it back. I don't know if this is the car itself that we're going to connect to our train, the second carriage, or if this is a car that's going to push the carriage that we're going to attach to the train. I'm not sure. But either way, we got to move this thing down the tracks and we can actually drive it. Turn the lights on and off. Move it down the tracks. Let's do it. <laughs> There's an air freshener up there. I like how everything in the front of this is jiggling. I love the feeling of weight this thing has. Like it slowed down really slow and squealed. Oh shit, there's a watcher over there. Uh, yeah, obviously this track doesn't continue here, so I think I need to switch the tracks, maybe with that thing over there. Also, I just realized, remember before I was thinking that the bandit place where that big X X's on the map. I was thinking that bandit place seemed like somewhere we might have to go, because remember I lifted up that big gate? And that and there's also a train car inside of there, so I think what I'm piloting is the thing that moves the train car. And we gotta go get the train car from there and then bring it back to our our train. And then hook it up. Okay, I don't think it spotted us. Oh, that's not what you use to change it. This is it. That's the indicator, and this should do the thing. Oh, there's so much stuff around here. This little bobblehead dog. Some postcards. Oh, um, mm, let's back away. That's gonna kill me. I'm in a metal box. Be able to just break through this one, right? Oh, right. When I came back to this place, there were a few of the bandits back. So I might have to kill a couple. Oh, I think it just automatically hooked up. I think I could just take it. <gasps> yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch these tracks, though. Maybe? No, actually, I think it should be fine.
Oh, I can't switch my seat around now that I've got something behind me. Ooh. Just assuming the train is connected behind me. It must be. So how are we going to get it up there? Might be okay just going straight? I don't see any other... Um, any other diversions or, or track switches that I might need to do. Seems to just be straight. does not want to leave the track alone. Right, they were the person, the people that first shot at us when we came here, and then they ran off to get, the, I guess, the caravan, the reinforcements. <laughs> oh, they're so happy. Oh, and I have their teddy bear to give them. No problem. Артём, поднимись в рубку, дело есть. Спасибо вам огромное, Артём. У меня просто слов нет. Здорово, Артём. Ну здоров, герой. Молодцом, справился. Итак, вот наш план. Ваша группа захватывает буксир торговцев. На нем вы с князем и крестом отплываете к мосту. Пока крест отвлекает охрану, вы с князем проникаете в комнату управления и опускаете мост. По вашему сигналу мы тараним ворота, подбираем вас и... И дай бог все получится. Не могу дать вам с князем больше людей. 
По нашим данным, основные силы противника охраняют ворота. И, Артем, ты приглядывай за парнем, лады. Он, конечно, разведчик, что надо. Но все лезет на рожон, понимаешь? Так что подай ему пример. Будь потише там. Ты для него авторитет. А вы же спецназ? Не танкисты? Удачи, Артем. Since when is there a tugboat? Where is this tugboat? Just right over there? I'm sorry, what? Ну, здоров, Рейнджер. Thanks. <laughs> Чего-то я из-за тебя распереживался. <sighs> Старее, видать. Ну, в общем, все переживали. Аньк тут совсем извелась, пока тебя не было. Артем, смотри. Я для тихаря улучшение приготовил. Так что можешь его установить для испытания. Верстак к твоим услугам. Was hoping they'd have anyone. Oh, a new magazine type. So I've already got an upgraded one from the default, the rotor. Horizontal magazine. Extended version of tube magazine that can hold 27 steel walls or 9 capsules. It's got like a... I, I guess that's a serial number, like scratched into it with a... a something sharp. So if I'm not mistaken, there's no reason to clean your weapons when you're back at home base, because you can just replace them. Like, so this is the SMG thing, so if I replace it with the bastard, which is just the base form of this without the attachments, if I do that... Uh... Well... It's odd, I can't actually, like, just click the thing that I already have to switch it to it, but... But you can see that the durability right now is totally zero, and if I switch to something else, like the Kalash, and then I switch back to the Bastard, I get a 100% repaired fresh version, but without the attachments. Which I think is basically what, uh, what was his name, Tokarov, the guy behind me, said. You'd have to reattach the attachments, but you get a fresh copy. So, I mean, that all makes sense, it's just kind of a weird system. Like, why do I have to switch to another weapon and then back? It seems like there should be a much better way to do that, it's very awkward. Oh, I guess I can't do that with a T-card, though, because there's nothing else to switch to. Yeah, which means, like, what? I'm supposed to be able to replace this with a fresh version, right? Just like anything, but I can't because I don't have a different type of weapon for this slot? I, uh, that's weird. That's a very weird system. Anyway, let's repair it, and only that. And let's figure out what else I want. How am I doing on ammo? I've got quite a few pistol shots. Maybe I want to focus on the pistol. I definitely want an assault rifle, so I'm going to go with the Kalosh. And I just realized that I thought this weapon and this, I thought these were different weapons. Because they look so different, especially with this part back here. But no, they're just attachments. There really are not that many different types of weapons. Just a million attachments. So I've had the Kalosh forever. Um... Yeah, let's see what we can customize with this. And then I think for the other weapon, I'll just make... Well, let's actually start with a pistol. Because I'm not sure what that's going to be. It could be a sniper type thing, or maybe not. Um, so that's the bastard, right? I don't want the bastard. I want something that's going to use pistol ammo, but does way more damage. Like the revolver. So much to choose from. Light grip, standard stock, sniper stock, or heavy stock. Well, heavy stock is basically just a better sniper stock. I mean, there's no downside to it. Just better stability. So, let's go with that. Standard or long. Better accuracy and damage. So you sacrifice a bit of stability for more damage and accuracy. That's worth it. Let's go with that. I guess attachments can be dirty. And you have to clean that part of it. The attachment part of it. Even if you switch to a clean gun. Let's go the 4x scope. Ooh. Three shot, six shot, double action, eight shot. What's what's a double action mechanism? What does that do? 
Increasing revolver rate of fire considerably. Oh, that's probably what the action is. Um, well, I mean, I mean, I'm going to be using this as a sniper, it looks like. So I don't think I need to fire really fast. So next one up. Decreases damage and accuracy a little bit. Huge rate of fire increase and, of course, magazine increase. Oh, the 8-shot increases the magazine and improves on the damage. I guess I'll go with the 8-shot. Very, very minor accuracy penalty, and I don't really care about the rate of fire, but having a bigger magazine would be nice. I remember with the three shots, I had to keep reloading a lot. Might as well go with the red laser, right? It doesn't, it literally has no ill effect. Good if I need to use it close up. Yeah. I've got a pretty damn good sniper. This thing's accuracy is real good. I wonder how it would be compared to this all souped up. Heavy stock and grip. Damn, that's a hell of a stock and grip. Semi. So just, oh wow, that gives you a huge amount of stability. So let's try to make this a sniper and see how it compares, huh? Standard barrel gives you good damage. Long barrel gives you better damage. Less stability, but that's fine because of the stock is amazing. Wait, I don't have a 4x scope for this thing? I feel like I've gotten a million 4x scopes. I guess they were for other guns. Well, I mean, for that reason alone, I can't use it as a sniper. I've definitely had a 4x scope for this sort of a gun before. Whew. Right, it's being used by this pistol. I don't have two of them, I only have one. So that should do it. Yes, there we go. Big magazine. Good accuracy. Pretty big hit to stability. Hmm. Yeah, standard would be fine. Okay, so how does this compare accuracy-wise? Right, this one has 12 bars of accuracy. This one has, I think it was 16. So this thing is significantly better at being a sniper. Granted, they both need to be cleaned a little bit, which would improve the accuracy, but I think they're both about the same level of damage. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to use this as my sniper, which means we can take off the scope and put that back. Put, put that back. Oh, I didn't double-click to take it off. All right, now this thing is a beautiful sniper. So I guess for the assault rifle, um, I'll just go for like a reflex sight, kind of mid-rangey thing. All right, got this thing customized with a long barrel, the best stock. I've got it with the biggest magazine. Didn't want that if this was a sniper, but as an assault rifle, well, you know, assault rifle, assault rifle. I think having the biggest magazine would be for the best. I feel like I'm losing parts or something. Like, I swear in the beginning of the game, wasn't I given a revolver that was all kitted out, including with a suppressor? I guess I just, like, lost the suppressor because that was the early game prologue kind of stuff. And they just gave it to you for the prologue because I don't have a suppressor that I can put on this thing. And it's not being used by anything else, I'm sure of it. So this is a very good sniper in every way, except it is going to be pretty loud. But yeah, I think this is some pretty good weapons. I need to clean this one again. Okay. That's all good. That's all repaired. Nothing to do there. I should probably make another med kit. God knows I need them. I should make some more filters, too. Um, I'll just make one. I've got a good amount of ammo. Yeah, I think I'm good on other stuff. Doing pretty well, re pretty well on resources right now. Oh, yeah, let's... Artem, if you want to change something in weapons or weapons, Верста к твоим услугам. I know, thank you. Ну и заодно можешь припасов каких-нибудь подготовить. Check out this thing as a sniper. Ну что, брат, готов к последнему рывку? Удачи! И еще раз спасибо тебе. What if you can find scopes that are more than four times in the future? Not that you'd necessarily need it. I mean, you know, I don't think. You'd want to do combat from that far away? This is pretty good.
I don't know, it just feels like the sort of game that doesn't have extreme range combat. More like medium to close. And this thing look go looks gorgeous. Okay, well, I definitely don't want to do the main quest just yet. Because that sounds like the end of this entire level. If we're going to bash through a thing and kind of make our escape across the bridge that's barricaded. No, let's do everything else first. We have a lot of question marks down here on the main part of the island. So, let's go. How would night vision look with this darkness? This isn't super dark. Hmm. I guess I do see better. It's not quite dark enough to need it, though, really. I'll leave it off unless I get indoors or something. Haven't been down there. Looks like a place to rest. <gasps> Actually, even if I get indoors, if there's no enemies around, I might as well just use my flashlight. Watcher. Shall I test out my sniper? It's not going to be quiet. Yeah, they heard. Well, the sniper works really well. Really damn well. Can't believe such a tiny thing could be so accurate. their diary? Seems like they've been doing some testing. Yeah. Uh, let's read that last, actually. A new mask? Dusty workbook. September 18th. Finally, I managed to get those spores from the polluted zone. The month I spent improving the filter was worth it. Substrate is ready. Time to start planting. October 11th. Mycelium is growing well. I'll be getting the first mushrooms soon. The distiller's almost finished. Can't waste any time. November 9th. The first batch is ready. I've seeded the test media. Control media show normal bacterial colony growth. Test samples are clear. November 15th. Test samples still clear. Success. December 20th. All rats are alive. Enough delays. Time to move on to actual test. Pneumonia seems too risky. Angina will have to do. December 23rd. Classic angina symptoms. 5 cc's of something. There are no syringes to be found anywhere anyways. December 24th. No changes. 
25th, noticeable improvement. 27th, high spirits, general condition improved. 29th, angina symptoms eliminated. High spirits, light sensitivity. Knocking noise outside. January 1st. Perfect health, no side effects, amazing clarity of thought and perception. This was six cc's of the PO, whatever that is. January 9th, thoughts clear, perfect health, irritating knocking noises outside. Need better rectification, remove impurities, increase acting agent something. Um, February 2nd, new batch done, triple rectification. Seven cc's. Perfect state of health. No extraneous noises. An influx of vigor. Perfect muscle tone. I feel like flying. Too many ideas to record. This is the discovery of a century. Fifth. Knocking outside. Roof, walls, floor brings me down. Tremor. Increased dosage to 8 cc's. Better. Feet warm. Hands enormous. Gnarly. Question mark. I'm back in... Conscience. Conscious? Tremor, shivering, vomiting. Knocking again. The room swims. Increase dosage to 8 cc's three times a day. They've arrived. They're waiting. This is the smile. What? This is the smile. So it sounds like they kept upping the dose, trying to make symptoms go away, and it just made things get worse. Sometimes better for a little bit, but... Yeah. Well, thanks for the improved filter. That seems to be good, at least. If those sounds are actual like actual AI actually shooting at something or if it's just background ambient noise I don't know I haven't been this direction yet I don't know if there'd be people over here See if we can put that new filter on. Or new mask? What is that? Spartan helmet extended filter or reinforced. I see, so... Yeah, we can either go with more armor or extended filter. Extended filter seems way more important to me. You know, I don't need it very often, filters, but when I do, I really need them, and they're damn expensive to make, and each time you make them, it only gives you a minute. These filters employ fibrous filtering materials with a larger than usual amount of absorbing agent, thus increasing their useful life. I wonder how much it's increased to. A minute 20. Let's make another one. Huh. That's the same amount of time. Maybe you don't see the extended thing unless you actually use it. Like, you don't see it reflected in the menus? Only when you go to use it, it lasts longer? I don't know. I trust that it's not lying to me. I 
definitely just heard footsteps around me. Is that another rabbit? This looks like a playground. Looks like there could be people here as well. Bandits, probably. Given all this out here. Let's go with night vision. Yep. Oh yeah, I do have to charge up the night vision. Doesn't seem to affect how night vision actually looks. I guess it just means whether it's on or off. That's all it affects. Doesn't look like there's any disadvantage to a low battery, unlike with a normal flashlight where it gets dimmer. just capture people, imprison them, murder them, probably torture them. Oh, it is bunnies. Freaking bunnies. So loud, please. All right, here we go. Let's try stealth. Oh, hello. They have alarms. Let's switch to knives instead of concussive grenades. That's not very stealthy. I also think I want to change something. Um, right now I have it set so that crouching is a thing you have to hold down if you want to keep crouching, but I think I want it to be a toggle, actually. Yeah, there's actually just a separate control for it, so right now a crouch is control, but I'm going to set crouch toggle to control. For some reason, I usually prefer to have crouches not be toggles in games, but for some reason, I feel like I want it to be a toggle here. So, let's do that. The other crouch, I don't know, put that on Z, sure. Probably not going to use it. There, because I feel like when I want to crouch and be stealthy, I want to do it all the time and not have to hold it down. Because I don't feel like I use it during combat very much. I use it more to sneak around. Mm, let's stay up here, actually. I can go downstairs, but let's go from the top down. <laughs> I thought if they turn around, throw a knife, and I did it fast enough. Whew. Not that putting out light helps that much, because they have headlamps. I want to get this one, but they're facing my direction, sort of. Let's 
going well so far. It's about the first time stealth has ever gone well. Oh, I'm just back up here. Oh, it doesn't open from this side. Could see if I can get in up here. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Maybe a good time for distractions. Yeah, what's that, huh? You better check it out. Wait. Wait, why can't I... Why, why can't I... Take him out? What's... What's up? There we go. Whew. I don't know why it didn't let me. Maybe because they're on the stairs on a different level for me, so it was kind of freaking out. Okay, I'm going in the van. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Oh my god, I just got turned around in such a weird way. I thought the van was just a box and I was totally enclosed. This is going amazingly well. Did they hear it? No, nope, they're still hanging out there. Ooh. Yeah, what are the prisoners doing, huh? Maybe they're escaping. <laughs> okay, is there anyone else here? That might be it. I don't think there'd be somebody upstairs. I think I've already been through all the upstairs. But I keep hearing footsteps, but that might just be one of the prisoners. Yeah, I think we're good. I can break it. Oh, sorry, you can get up, it's fine. 
I think they're freaking out because I had my weapon pointed at them. You're free. Uh. You, you good? They're members of the cult, so I guess they don't like the light that I was shining at them, but they didn't say anything. He hello? <laughs> really? You're not going to say anything. Oh, no, 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 put that away. Okay. Oh. Fold folded letter. Good day to you, Sever, and a firm handshake to all of your respectable people in turn. I've been notified of doubts amongst our men, so I decided to clarify those. The fanatics do not respect the code. They do things like feeding men to that fish of theirs that are simply unacceptable amongst respectable folk. That is why all respectable people are to treat them as cattle, not men. Do not carve them up, but put them in pens. Our brothers from Ostraka and are always thankful for a shipment of those. Good luck and good health to you in the spirit of freedom. Long live the thieves. That feels ironic. The spirit of freedom. Oh, by the way, these people, you should put them into pens, lock them up. Thief Glyba. Thieves and proud of it. Whoops. I guess I can turn all the lights back on, huh? So yeah, is there nothing more I can do here? Is the icon taken care of? I guess we're done. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a dog. There's a dog and there's a person sleeping. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill the dog. No, it went back to sleep. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Can you peacefully knock out dogs? Ah, oh, there was somebody here this whole time. Deep sleeper. <laughs> what is that? A new type of vest. Yeah, can I... Do it? No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're fine. Just gonna leave it alone. Uh, you might want to get out of here before the dog gets you. There. Didn't have to kill it. Damn, does it have heavy footfalls, though. It probably can't open doors. That's a good safe bet. Got another question mark south. Is that underneath the bridge or above it? Let's check underneath. Oh, shit. Wow, even during the day, those come out sometimes. Well, that's where we went through with the train, right? And it didn't look like there's anything special there. Yeah, this has got to be it. <laughs> it's like someone just blasted a hole in this can and then made it a home. Yeah, quite literally. It's a home. I can sleep and make stuff here. Doesn't feel very well protected. 
Some could probably just walk up right here, point a gun over one of these barbed wire fence pieces and just shoot you in your sleep. Let's check out that new vest. Oh, do we have something new for this? A fourth cylinder. So before we had three, six, and eight shot. Now we have a six, a different six shot. A single action mechanism, the classic six shooter versus the dual action. It has way less rate of fire, but it's very, very, very slightly more accurate. Hmm. This is a sniper, so accuracy is key. But the rate of fire is so much worse. And the accuracy is just barely better. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with oh right, I'm not even using that, I'm using the eight shot. Compared to that, it's simply worse in every way, so definitely sticking with the eight shot. Carrier vest is what I've had all this time. Ammo pouches. Additional ammunition storage. The adjustment straps ensure a comfortable fit. Cartridge pockets are closed off with separate flaps, better securing the ammunition and preventing it from making noises while the wearer is in motion. Well, it mentions noises as if it's going to make me stealthier, but that isn't reflected in the stats, so I think that's just flavor text. I think the only difference is it allows me to store more. Although I don't think I've ever actually hit the ammunition storage limit, because I use so much of it, and it's so hard to find ammunition, so... Not sure how important that is, but good to have nonetheless. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, that's odd. Normally when you switch between stuff, it shows you how the stats are going to change, but this one doesn't show you until you actually change the thing. Usually it previews what it's going to do. So this does actually reduce your speed very slightly, but just by one bar, that's fine. Now I wonder if it's the same for the others. Have those changed my... See, like, these actually show you what's going to change before you change. It previews it, which is how it should be. So, it seems like this is just bugged for some reason. Anyway, it's a minor thing. Is that gunfire? Oh no, that's the wings of a demon. I'm not going to shoot it. I know they can be killed, though. I killed that one right after it woke up. Basically in its sleep. I'll leave it alone, though, unless I need to deal with it. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, what is that noise? I think it's something below the bridge. Yep. It's a bunch of monsters below the bridge. Oh, tiny one's fighting a big one. Are those little babies, or are those something entirely different? Oh, I remember small creatures that would burrow and dig out and stuff. Yeah, that's an entirely different type of creature. I guess I just haven't actually encountered them yet, surprisingly. Or, or I did, and I thought they were Watchers. Apparently they don't like the Watchers. <laughs> anyway. I'm safe here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to check out those question marks on the east of this chunk of land.